What's going on YouTube? As you guys are getting an overlay in my room, I will be talking to you. So, on YouTube you can only have a 15 minute video. So what I'm going to do is give you guys a nice, kind of, closer picture of my furniture. I will also put links down in the description where I got my furniture, just in case you, just in case you guys want something like you like the TV stand, you need a new TV stand, you like the desk, any dresser, bed, anything. I will be putting links down in the description below uh, for everything I own. Um, so we're going to go ahead obviously and get into it as I'm giving you guys an overlay video. And then also I will be making miniature videos on the side here of my in detail of my furniture and everything like inside the bookcase, what's inside my dresser and all that good stuff. So my movies, games, everything like that guys. I'll be getting into those details um, in different videos. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so on top of my bookcase there, I've got a Bulldog Watch um, photo, as well as three boxes, my MacBook keyboard, my MacBook Pro box, and my Xbox 360, which is being shipped back to me from Microsoft. I've got my bookcase here, which has got my boxing glove, games, calendar, giant tea, Pictures, books, coloring books, all this sorts of stuff. But again, I told you guys I'd do some miniature videos, so you guys will see the exact details later. So, up top here above my dress, I've got a real nice surfing poster since I am a California boy. And um, down below, I've just got a bunch of stuff. On top here, my dresser is by IKEA. It's a very nice dress if you ask me. I've got a couple of the white little square things for actually dividers. You guys will see that later. And next to the dresser here I've got my laundry, which is supposed to be a laundry basket right there, but currently I'm doing my laundry right now. I've got my main messenger bag hooked up as well as all my necklaces. Now back in the back here I've got my closet with a little bit of squeaky floor there which holds all my shoes and as you guys can see it's reorganized I've used it like Alejandro Alejandra not Alejandro, excuse me Alejandra you guys will see her in a little bit she's a very great organizer so I've been getting tips from her on how to organize So back in this corner I've got another little storage device, I don't know if you guys want to call it a bookcase or not, but it's got some pictures on top, well actually one right now, and then some picture frames which I need pictures for, a couple of bookends, I'm still trying to decide what to do with those, my Xbox 360 pyramid, and I will put a link in the description for that for sure, um, and then that's got all my Game Informer magazines and just some storage and stuff. And also a basket that seems to have been pushed away in the back there. So let's bring this forward. It's also got some of my old Pokemon cards. My Canon uh, T3Ks. Which is the camera I am currently using right now. In this corner of my room I've got my Samsung TV. Which is reflecting against the lights right now. I've also got a charm there that's real small. That you guys can see in the top right hand corner. I've got my whiteboard there and down below I've got my printer, some paper storage, my Wii also known as a GameCube a little candle, some lotion there, Perel uh, that's even how you say it and also I've got my IKEA Hems TV bench by well by IKEA uh, the empty, empty area there is where my Xbox 360 goes and the middle is my DirecTV cable, which I would like to add that I absolutely love DirecTV. I've never had any issues with him. And then I've got my Blu-ray player to the far right. And I've got three jaws to go with it. I've also got a random Hawk Ridge Old Spice Spray because it's empty. So that would to remind me that I need a new uh, Hawk Ridge Old Spice Spray if I decide to get one. Over there in the corner I've got some blinds that I still need to put up in my little duster. Right here I've actually got three wall shelves. There's one that carries my hair, uh, my hair gel paste, 
uh, putty and whatnot, uh, my deodorant, my sprays, my cologne, as well as a little spray bottle, which is a fingertip sprayer, but also it's good for your hair. Also, next door, yeah, is another wall shelf where I decided to put some books. Just because I feel like I wanted some books right there, even though I do have a little bit more room on my bookshelf. That's just where I currently wanted to put them. So that way I had more room on my bookshelf, so that way it didn't look too crowded. So, I've got some really good books here, guys. Actually, you guys know I'm still reading Tiger's Claw, but I have this issue where I want to read more books. Uh, more than one book at a time. So I've also been leading, leading with your legacy in mind. That's really good. I also bought these two last night. Uh, this one's uh, More Shocking Secrets and American History. Of American History. Which is just little stories. I haven't actually gotten into that one yet. But I have gotten into this one right here. Which is George Washington on Leadership. And that is actually quite a brilliant book. And uh, these two are on sale for about $8 at Barnes and & Nobles. And this is actually on sale for about $7 at Barnes & Nobles right now. I actually ran into it last night. So, just wanted to show that. I've got my Citibank Monkey Bank right there with my hand shadow. And my hand, a little bit. Um, I got the Citibank Monkey Bank, just so you guys know. It was just some kind of promotion that they were doing. Where you bought it for like ten dollars, and then the money goes to some kids with leukemia, or some kind of sickness. So I don't think you guys can get that again. Um, it was just some kind of promotion thing. But if you are curious, then you could probably ask Citibank. So up top here, I've got my other wall shelf that I just put up today. It's just got McGregor's Eye Medicine, and then I still have my Hope Dream. And believe poster right there on the edge. Down below here, I've got my mini fridge and my little paper tray, which has a bunch of stuff in it. Right above my desk, I've got another like paper tray in it. I've got a lot of photos and my work stuff and everything. And down below it here, yeah, with a little bit of reflection on myself and the camera. Is I've got my Sony camera right there in its case and I've also got my paper tray with a spiral in it and there's actually an IKEA magazine back there somewhere and I've also got little paper notes and my Canon lens protector and also my hook cursor which is really nice and down below I've got a filing cabinet and storage unit and back, if you go back up, I've got my MacBook keyboard as well as a wireless mouse. And my MacBook Pro. And on my screen, this is Alejandro. This is the lady I sent you guys about Italy. If you guys need help organizing, go to her. Um, oops, I didn't mean to push a button. I pushed a button on my keyboard. It's um, Alejandro.tv. Um, no, 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 you guys can't see it. I'll put the link down below, just like I told you guys to do earlier. Right here I've got like all my pens, pencils, highlighters, um, whiteboard markers. I keep my whiteboard markers separated from my Sharpies, which are back here. Just so you guys know, it's a little blurry. Goodness gracious. This camera doesn't autofocus. Um, just so that way you guys don't get a mix up, always keep your whiteboard markers separated from all your sharpies. Just so that way you don't grab a sharpie and write on your whiteboard. That might be a mistake. I've also got some pins right here that I got on sale, which are all different colors. Green, red, blue, purple, black. My Canon camera is right there, my little one. And my wallet's just chilling there. And then I've got some notepad for work and my label maker which I'll be talking to you guys later about in the video probably it's a Dymo label maker though I've got my paper shredder right here which is really nice I guess it just comes in handy I didn't give very uh, very expensive or anything I didn't pay a lot for it so but it gets the job done 
Or here's one of my favorite lumps, which you guys are going to be blinded in a second. You guys may not be able to tell, you kind of can. You got blue, yellow, red, and then that's actually green and white uh, lump shades. I thought it was really cool to have some color in here. Over in this corner, you got my Blu ray DVD, some cell phone accessories, and my extra wallets because I have this weird habit of collecting wallets. And then I've got my baseball glove there, little cinnamon apple, um, apple and cinnamon smelly thingy, and also my um, Eiffel Tower poster there. I've also got my London poster there, my Don't Just Inspire. Don't just dream, inspire. Don't just imagine, create, and don't just believe, achieve. Poster there. I've got love you more. My shark poster with all the different types of sharks in the ocean, and the human is currently under the basking shark above the whale shark. Um, that's a six foot two human, I believe. So that way you guys can see the sizes compared to human. And then there's another shark poster because I love sharks. So, if my voice weren't just a little weird, it's because I almost kind of choked myself with the, uh, this thingy. Yeah. So, that was a very nice. And also, I was just turning really weirdly. Really weirdly. Really weirdly. Really weirdly. Do I should try saying that really fast? Really weirdly. Really weirdly. Yeah. That's a tongue tie. Alrighty, over here in this corner, I've just got another storage unit. Um... Again, guys, I'll get into details later. I've got my nightstand over here with a little reading lamp, lava lamp, my motion alarm clock, she talks, a spy brookstone, Wolverine, um, bus bank, which is from Amazon, my direct TV controller and air controller. Air is off so that way it doesn't make a lot of noise in the camera, but it will be turned back on in a moment. And then my nightstand is by IKEA, guys. Uh, Ross will be taking over for the rest of the video, so let me give the camera to him. Here you go, Ross. Would you like to take over? Would you like to take over? No? Change your mind? Alright guys, I guess he changed his mind, but uh, we better get going. I hope you guys enjoyed this small tour. Remember, I'll be doing uh, mini tours later in details of stuff. Have a great day.